It's time for our snap judgments from week five. And Eric, we start with what was our game of the week? The Patriots and Jets, New England getting a big divisional win. The question is, was the Jets' offense really that bad, or has the Patriots' defense improved? I think it's a little bit of both, and I don't want to ride the fence on this one, but I did see some improvement defensively from the Patriots. Wish they'd hit the quarterback a little bit more. They played a lot of coverage, though. They got seven three and outs, a lot of big stops. Held the Jets to 255 yards, 30 of those coming late in the game. But, you know, I, I just think the Jets right now are a mess offensively. They don't seem to get in the right rhythm. Ran the ball a slight bit more. I think as Mangold gets healthy, they'll be better. But, again, things are all messed up right now. Seems like it's getting ugly. There were the reports of the yep. receivers going to Rex Ryan. They're not happy with the offense. And if Sanchez can't pass on that defense, could be tough going as we move forward. The Bengals improved to 3-2. and two. I think a surprise to many, especially to me. I thought this was a three-win team to begin with. But realistically, how good can this team be? Well, it's interesting. You look at their schedule, and there's, there's some winnable games until November. they got four straight divisional games. I think that's when they're going to have to prove themselves. Right now, you've got a rookie quarterback who's game. He's out there. He's making plays. And a defense that still makes mistakes, but is still ranked very high right now. So it, it's an interesting team to follow. They didn't run the ball that great on Sunday. That's really what I think they need to do to get better but a team you got to take notice of because they're above 500. Yeah, really impressed with what Andy Dalton's done so quickly in his yeah. NFL career. And, of course, the late game was the Broncos and Tebow getting into the game finally. You know, the fans got what they wished for. John Fox has been holding out. Is it Tebow time? And if it is, is that a good thing? Well, you got to know Fox's uh, track record. I mean, he, he stuck with Jake Delhomme way past his prime when he wasn't playing well. Orton is not playing as badly as Delon was in 2009, but I think at this point, just the spark he gave. Tebow, you gotta go with him. They've got the bye week to decide, that's important. But again, statistically, I mean, it was four of 10 passing, 28 of those 78 yards came on a screen that was all no Sean Moreno. So you got to take what you get. I don't think Tebow's going to do a ton and play great four quarters, but he gives, he gives him a spark, gives him a chance to win at least. Seems like you can only run a QB draw so many times in an <laughs> NFL game and expect it to keep working. Those are our snap judgments from week five. For the best coverage of the league, check us out at ProFootballWeekly.com.